Hey everyone, welcome back to another heavy little diecast video, of course, and we've got one here from Hobby Master in 172nd scale, of course. And he's, it is a Skyhawk, it is the, the last Skyhawk, it is an A4M, obviously, as it says in those big letters on the box there, and it is also, as it says, the last Skyhawk to be made, and it has a special library on this particular one, it has all the flags and everything in it, from uh, all the other nations that have used the aircraft, and, uh, well, I got this uh, off eBay, of course, second-hand purchase, $92, so I thought that was alright, we'll open this up instead of trying to look at this goddamn picture, well, I uh, oh, Oh, it's got some ordnance in the flap there, which is a little bit unusual, I think, from uh, from Hobby Master. Uh, and this little Skyhawk sitting in there in the box, nice and snug. It does look all complete, but we won't know until we open this goddamn box up. All right, we'll stop talking now so we can open up this box and check out this aircraft. All righty, with the blister packet out of the box, it does come with this that was sitting in the flap. Of course, it does have some landing gear options and uh, a little bit of ordnance and everything like that. Turf that out of the way. It also does come with a little baggie that does have a stand and the actual landing gear as well. And it also does come with this military intelligence. Uh, I've never had really one of these before. It does have uh, information about the aircraft and everything, everything like that in, in there. Normally this is what's sitting on the uh, flap of the box. Uh, obviously this must be a real early one uh, because it does have this little cool little certificate in there. Oh, do you have that out of the way? <laughs> we we want to get to the Skyhawk and have a little look. All right. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got a reasonable weight to it. The, uh, geez, the ordnance in there looks really well detailed. We'll, we'll check out that a little bit. But uh, we want to check out this beautiful looking Skyhawk. Wow, that looks really nice. Those lines look really well detailed. It almost like looks like there's a little bit of weathering sort of done on this. The details on this looks excellent. There's the uh, well, the cockpit opens up. It's really hard to see anything in there. It's such a small cockpit, but uh, yeah, that does open up, which is yeah pretty cool. It's got some really nice detail in there. We'll run down the fuselage here and you can see all those different flags there from all the nations that have been using this lovely aircraft of course it's got some yeah pretty cool uh, engine detail we'll come to this side i'll try not to uh, break that refueling probe off with my fat ass fingers yeah this is pretty cool <laughs> yeah definitely very very well done it's nice. How cool is that? What we'll do is we'll turn it over, of course, and have a little look underneath. There's the Arista hook there. It's got some great detail on there. It's got some, obviously, some uh, pylons there that we've got to put some stores on. All the landing gear options, of course. Nose wheel there. Yeah, this has got some really, really good detail. Yeah, and that's very well done. Cool. All right, well, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll kit this out with some landing gear options, of course, and we'll come right back. All right, we'll have a quick look at the uh, ordnance that you put on. So you do get a set of three tanks, two uh, wing-mounted ones, of course, and a fuselage-mounted one. They do have some, uh, you know, some okay detail on these. They do come up quite nice. And of course you do have these uh, two missiles that have to go underneath on their wing pylon as well. Alright, let's finish getting out this Skyhawk. Alright, here we have the A4M all kitted out. Uh, geez, carries a fair bit. <laughs> this does uh, kit out very nicely and very straightforward. So you just drop the uh, nose wheel cover there and there's two uh, gear bay door covers there that drop straight in. They don't sort of seat 100% um, but that's, you know... Depends on how fussy you want to be. And of course, you've got all your uh, tank ordnance that goes on there. And then, of course, the missiles that go on either side there. And they dropped straight in. No dramas, no problems. Perfect. Just, just went together smoothly. I didn't have a, an issue whatsoever at all. And uh, I reckon it does come up quite nice. So if you're, a, if you're an in-flight person, this is how your model is going to look in flight. And that is pretty cool. 
One unfortunate thing with these uh, Hobby Master ones is if you want to display it on the stand, which you will, of course, because, you know, it's in flight, uh, you can't because of that uh, central tank there. You actually have to, uh, unfortunately, remove this so you can actually uh, insert this. And uh, and that's that's your stand on, of course, and uh, that's that's unfortunate and um, that you can't use the... Uh, Full full package of ordnance that is supplied with this particular aircraft. Um, I'll zoom in a fraction for you, of course. But look, this is you know how it's going to look when you uh, chuck these on the stand, of course. And I reckon it does come up, you know, pretty nice. It's, it's okay for you know little little Skyhawk, but it's not how I like to look at mine, of course, is it? Now I want to check this out with uh, gear down. So what we'll do is we'll zip straight to that right now. All right, here we have it. Uh, gear down, straightforward process. You just drop that uh, gear bay door in the front there and the nose wheel, and that's that job done. Um, you just put a gear bay door there, and then you put the uh, other gear bay door there, and you drop that main landing gear on top of that gear bay door, and that is that side done. You repeat the same deal on that side, and that is your landing gear all applied, and it does look very nice. None of the um, the wheels rotate or anything. They're all in a fixed position, so you can't roll this baby around, uh, but I reckon it does set up very nice. Uh, and it's you know pretty cool for this what this library represents as the final last uh, Skyhawk and you know all those nation flags and everything on there you know not everyone's going to like this particular library but I reckon it's pretty cool but uh, yeah no I reckon it, this this whole thing sets up really nice and no dramas whatsoever we will put this on the deck and we will you know wind this video up I suppose we'll zoom in a fraction for you of course. This is by Hobby Master in 172nd scale diecast. It is the A4M Skyhawk and it is the last Skyhawk. So uh, I reckon it sets up beautifully. Uh, if you can get your grubby little hands on one, find one. You'll have to buy this obviously on the second hand market because it is an older Hobby Master release. But I reckon it is nice. If you like this, throw us some of those if you like it as much as me. And uh, why not subscribe to the channel as well if you're yet to do that, if you're enjoying what you're seeing. Hopefully, you did enjoy the content today. Um, so, yes, yeah, stick around. I'll chuck some photos of this up so you can see it without my fat ass fingers being in the way, of course. Sausage finger test. These are quite small, but, um, you know, they're still a nice build. And, of course, thank you very much for spending your valuable time in checking out another one of our videos. I do really appreciate that, of course. All right, guys, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers.